electricity, connectivity. How long could you go without these things? For most of us, it's a silly question. We don't even need to think about it. But if you could step into someone else's shoes, someone living very differently, if you could become them for a moment, see what they see, hear what they hear, would you think about it then? Welcome to Maluni, Kenya. This is Jonas, a local priest and banana farmer. Jonas and his family used to live off the grid, completely disconnected from electricity, but have recently taken solar power into their own hands. Their banana farm is one of the 500,000 households in Kenya, Tanzania and Uganda that have ended their dependence on kerosene oil by switching to affordable and clean solar energy by installing an MCOPA solar system. MCOPA Solar is a Kenyan company whose mission is to upgrade lives by making high quality solar power solutions affordable to even the lowest income households. Jonas invited us to visit his family and to experience the positive impact that solar power has had on their lives. To illustrate this, we took 27,000 pictures of every nook and cranny of his farm so that we could digitize it into a 3D model using a process called photogrammetry. The plan? To create a virtual reality simulation that would allow people living on the other side of the planet to really experience what life is like without electricity and witness firsthand what a difference a simple solar panel system can make. Over the course of three short weeks, our team of VR specialists, 3D artists and programmers clicked, coded and hacked against the clock to complete the VR experience that would become Project Yua in time for the annual Microsoft Hackathon in Redmond, Washington as part of its Hack for Africa challenge. So Hack for Africa is sort of defined as um, a challenge to Microsoft's global community of employees to build solutions, ideas, or projects that will help accelerate Africa's already ongoing digital transformation and empower its people and organizations to achieve even more. One of the challenges we faced was figuring out how to help people build empathy about the opportunities and the challenges within Africa. We wanted to tell a story that allowed people to really feel how technology can empower the customer and change their lives. We decided virtual reality would be the best way to give people an authentic, immersive experience. Now, participants can, you know, walk through and interact with the farm to get a real feeling of what it's like to live off the grid. That was actually really cool. Um, I, I really enjoyed the experience. I thought the virtual experience was like really stellar, actually. Um, one of the coolest things I think I've experienced. I think it's much better than you know a lot of alternatives, like you know watching it on you know TV or on the internet. I'll, I'll say it's easily more powerful than a 360 video because in 360 video you are not in the control, whereas in VR you are in the control. You take actions. It became so real that I forgot that I was in a virtual world. It was so super real, and the accuracy of the controls was amazing. Yeah, it, it definitely felt like I was there. It does feel real, and I think what's good is just putting people in the shoes of others and just lighting up ways that the technology and even just power can help more people. Perspectives is what gives us all kind of a sense of grounding. We kind of get um, very comfortable in our lives when we have all this stuff and we take it for granted. I didn't really think about it because here, you know, when it gets dark, it doesn't really matter. There, when it gets dark, it matters, and you need to be prepared for it. Light is so important because, you know, when you think of a kid's education, they do it after school, and when it's dark, well, we don't know because we're over here. So it's just great to give this awareness and give the insights. It was magical. I've been to Kenya in real life, and that was amazing. I loved it. I guess I didn't realize just how dark it is at night. I liked how, you know, like all the little, like the sound of crickets and, 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 the, and the sky with stars and stuff. Uh, it was beautiful, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm from Africa, so it was really nice going back home. It was authentic. I felt like I was in Kenya. I am from Kenya, and I've been to places like those. those that's my childhood. And I felt like I was there. Like, I, I lost myself for a moment. I was thinking, yes, you have to light the lantern, and you have to be so careful about the smoke. Little details like opening the door so the smoke can go out, that made it so real. Being halfway across the world and being able to see things as it is back at home, that was amazing. It's dark, there's no power supply, so I have to deal with you know the issues using some you know makeshift kerosene lamp. 
And then, um, hey presto, I got to find out there's this magical thing called Epcopa, some solar generated um, way of getting power to people. I have not seen that experience ever, like where I don't have electricity at all, and then finally I got it. And once you got it, you see the difference it can create. Now we know what we're dealing with when we think about Africa. I think it just gets you closer to the reality. Uh, so actually, I brought all my team that's working on my project here, and I was really happy for them to experience it because some of us come from those countries. Some of them are, they've been all their life here, so they actually don't know what it looks like. They're hacking for Africa, so I'm really glad they got to experience this. You know how people say like a picture worth a thousand words? I think like a virtual reality worth like millions of pictures. Like it's just another level because you understand better. You can you get to like live it. You don't only see it in a two dimensions thing. You get to like really live it and like feel it. Yes, it, it's great. Yeah.